Solar System, Ringed Planets by James Webb Space Telescope Space Telescope Spectrum The diagram below illustrates the spectrum of electromagnetic energy, highlighting the portions detected by NASA's Hubble, James Webb, and Spitzer Space Telescopes. Hubble Space Telescope 90 to 2500 nanometers James Webb Space Telescope 600 to 28500 nanometers Spitzer Space Telescope 3000 to 160000 nanometers The James Webb Space Telescope, sometimes called JWST or Webb, is an orbiting infrared observatory that will complement and extend the discoveries of the Hubble Space Telescope, with longer wavelength coverage and greatly improved sensitivity. The longer wavelengths enable Webb to look much closer to the beginning of time and to hunt for the unobserved formation of the first galaxies, as well as to look inside dust clouds where stars and planetary systems are forming today. Webb will primarily look at the universe in the infrared, while Hubble studies it primarily at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths, though it has some infrared capability. JWST original image of the infrared light, invisible to the human eyes, that passes through each filter is monochromatic or in grayscale. Webb detectors actually produce images in shades of black and white, color is added during image processing. The colors aren't always what we'd see if we were able to visit the imaged objects in a spacecraft. Color is a tool, which can enhance an object's detail or visualize what could never been seen by the human eye. The images released to the public are composite of separate exposures acquired using the near-infrared camera NIRCAM, instrument. Several filters were used to sample the wavelength ranges. The color results from assigning different hues, colors, to each monochromatic, grayscale, image associated with an individual filter. Jupiter, center, and its moon Europa, left, are seen through the JWST's NIRCAM instrument as one of the engineering and test images in 2022. The image shows the great red spot, the ring, and the moon Europa with its shadow on the planet. A wide field view showcases Jupiter in the upper right quadrant. The planet's swirling horizontal stripes are rendered in blues, browns, and cream. Electric blue auroras glow above Jupiter's north and south poles. A white glow emanates out from the auroras. Along the planet's equator, rings glow in a faint white. These rings are one million times fainter than the planet itself. At the far left edge of the rings, the moon, Adrastia, appears as a tiny white dot. Slightly further to the left, another moon, Amalthea, glows with tiny white diffraction spikes. The rest of the image is the blackness of space, with faintly glowing white galaxies in the distance. This composite image of Jupiter shows stunning details of the majestic planet in infrared light. In this image, brightness indicates high altitude. The numerous bright white spots and streaks are likely very high altitude cloud tops of condensed convective storms. Auroras, appearing in red in this image, extend to higher altitudes above both the northern and southern poles of the planet. By contrast, dark ribbons north of the equatorial region have little cloud cover. Saturn itself appears extremely dark at this infrared wavelength observed by the telescope, as methane gas absorbs almost all of the sunlight falling on the atmosphere. However, the icy rings stay relatively bright, leading to the unusual appearance of Saturn in the image. The color results from assigning an orange hue to monochromatic, grayscale images. The background is mostly dark. At the center is a dark orange-brown circle, surrounded by several blazing bright, thick, 
horizontal whitish rings. This is Saturn and its rings. There are three tiny dots in the image, one to the upper left of the planet, one to the direct left of the planet, and the lower left of the planet. These are three of Saturn's moons, Dion, Enceladus, and Tethys, respectively. This image of Uranus shows the planet and its rings in new clarity. The planet's seasonal north polar cap gleams in a bright white, and Webb's exquisite sensitivity resolves Uranus' dim inner and outer rings, including the Zeta ring, the extremely faint and diffuse ring closest to the planet. This image also shows 14 of the planet's 27 moons, Oberon, Titania, Umbriel, Juliet, Perdita, Rosalind, Puck, Belinda, Desdemona, Cressida, Ariel, Miranda, Bianca, and Portia. This wider view of the Uranian system features the planet Uranus as well as six of its 27 known moons, most of which are too small and faint to be seen in this short exposure. A handful of background objects, including many galaxies, are also seen. This image also shows nine of the planet's 27 moons. They are the blue dots that surround the planet's rings. Clockwise starting at 2 o'clock, they are, Rosalind, Puck, Belinda, Desdemona, Cressida, Bianca, Portia, Juliet, and Perdita. The orbits of these moons share the 98-degree tilt of their parent planet relative to the plane of the solar system. This zoomed-in image of Uranus reveals stunning views of the planet's rings. On the right side of the planet there's an area of brightening at the pole facing the Sun, known as a polar cap. This polar cap is unique to Uranus because it is the only planet in the solar system tilted on its side, which causes its extreme seasons. A new aspect of the polar cap revealed by Webb is a subtle brightening near the Uranian North Pole. This is a zoomed out view of Neptune, its rings and its moons. Neptune's moon Triton, resembling a small teal snowflake, is the central focal point, with a tiny ring, pearl-like Neptune below and to the right of it. The black background is filled with galaxies, eight-pointed bright objects and dots. A small white spiral galaxy in the bottom left corner is particularly visible. This image of the Neptune system reveals stunning views of the planet's rings, which have not been seen with this clarity in more than three decades. This new image of Neptune also captures details of the planet's turbulent, windy atmosphere. To the upper left of the planet in this image, one of Neptune's moons, Triton, also sports Webb's distinctive eight diffraction spikes, an artifact of the telescope structure. Webb also captured six more of Neptune's 14 known moons, along with a smattering of distant galaxies that appear as dim splotches and a nearby star. The most prominent features of Neptune's atmosphere in this image are a series of bright patches in the planet's southern hemisphere that represent high-altitude methane ice clouds. More subtly, a thin line of brightness circling the planet's equator could be a visual signature of global atmospheric circulation that powers Neptune's winds and storms. Additionally, for the first time, Webb has teased out a continuous band of high-latitude clouds surrounding a previously known vortex at Neptune's southern pole.